Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in our previous video, we have successfully completed these all the things, right? So now let's try to go into our app.js. And when I'm clicking on this one, we are able to see when I'm clicking on this one, we are able to see this one. So fine. So I'm click when I click on the close button, I need to close it. So actually the page is refreshing. So first we'll try to do this get post, we'll move it a little bit down and also we'll design this table also. Then afterwards we'll move on to that model pop-up functionality. So get post and all those things where it is located. So here if I I can minify, I can minimize this one all buttons. Yeah. So these buttons all we will remove those all buttons, but for the time being, buttons. And here I can add something like margin top of one REM. Okay. And yeah, so now we have a table. So table. And this table also will try to have margin top of one REM. Okay. And let's give the width of 100%. So it's a width of 100%. Total width is 100%. Mm, and another one is what I want to do is I want to make it as margin okay auto so i'll make it as a margin auto okay so here margin top so okay let's leave it so with 100 percent means already it will be in the center let's go to the t head and i will apply a background color of something around like this i will apply background color this one and here i will do the border collapse also let's do the border collapse border collapse and here we'll give collapse okay border collapse collapse is also done and we will give color of white so here the background color the t head we have given it as a black color so let's give the color also as a white okay so we got the color as white let's give some let's add some sample data so that we can have a clear understanding about this one so tr and i will give td I will give one, two, and three the table data. So just in order to have a understanding how the UI looks like. So fine. So one, two, three, these are also nah, okay. And let's make make this TH and TD extra line center. How it will look like? Yeah. So this is the thing which we which is how it will look like. So fine. So this table is also done. Most probably. Or otherwise, what I can do is uh, for th and td i can give front size of around 12 pixels small thing you will give and the th and td also the padding padding we need, we need to give the padding also 5 pixel okay so that's also done so the table is also done now what the thing we need to do is when i click on the add post we are able to see the pop-up when i click on the close button i need to close that pop-up instead of refreshing okay let's go here in the index.html if you try to see we are having two models one is an update model which is having a class close and another one is an add model which is having close both does the same thing only but one one close will close the add model and another close link will close the update model so let's go and write the code in app.js we'll try to uh, clean this one all first we'll write we first will write the code so close elements is equal to document dot so this time we need to get the elements by class name not the elements by id elements by class name of close so we got the close so these are the multiple elements so what we need to do we need to loop over the for loop let close element i am taking one by one close element close element of close elements and we need to apply here event listener click event listener so for this one close element dot add event listener of click so here we'll be having the click and in this one the first one is the event and we as this one is an anchor link so we need to do the e dot prevent default so this one is also done so prevent default is done so now what i need to do here close element we need to close the pop up when i click when i click on this one so if you know if you try to see here if i click on close let's let us refresh it oh i didn't save it yeah now here when i click on the close nothing is happening so now we need to do the logic in order to close this one so what i will do here 
close model dialogs we will have a method something like close model dialogs let's go to the function and here we'll be having the close model dialogs we have a function here and we know that document dot get element by id of add model add model dot style dot display is equal to none so we can close it directly and we can close the object model also so if it is already closed so not a problem right so we can do get element by id of update model dot style dot display is equal to none so this one is also closed now if i try to refresh this page let's try to refresh this page okay and i click on this one and i click on here so automatically it is closing so now this one is working now the another thing what i want to do is when i click on this one if i click on the outer side so this black color grayish background color is there right if i click on this one also this model should be closed automatically so what can we do here so we have we have this window right so window dot on click so we have an window dot on click is equal to you can have a function and this have a target event and let's say that we will take constant add model add model document dot get element by id of add model so we know this one add model we got the add model now here we got the add model let's console the e dot target so e dot target should be a model e dot target and here also console dot lock add model so these two should be equal now if you try to see the get post if i click on oh sorry not the get post so we need to check here the console and here. let's click on the add post yeah so these are the things normally we are getting it from this one so from the window dot on click now when i click on this add model see the both the things are one and the same only so the event dot target the coming is nothing but a model and also the add model is nothing but, so both are one and the same so what i can do here if e dot target is equal to is equal to add model add model then what i will do add model dot style dot display is equal to none so i will hide it else means automatically it will be an uh, what i can say update model right so you can take document dot you can write both the things okay so here we can write both the things and document um or, or what we will try to do is we will do is both the things no so we will try to do else document dot what is that one so sorry where is that one gone document dot get element by id of so actually we need to check that if it is an update model like that so or otherwise what we'll do update model and here we can check with an update model and here i can write if e dot target is equal to is equal to update model then we need to do update model dot style dot display is equal to none that's it so now we have did it now let's uh, click on that one i click on the out outside automatically this one is closing now another thing what we need to have if i click here in the title or anything so this should not close if i click outside only it should close so now this one is working very fine if i click here also it's working fine so if i click on that post or anything so it's not working so this is how we can do it so now we have did here add post model dialog is working fine and the table data also we have designed it in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to get the post request on the page load itself we need to get the post request so that is the thing we'll do it in the next video hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you